Little Rocco chant going. That's a drop zone put in by the USGA. In the case of exactly what's just happened here. Mandatory that you drop in those areas, Roger. You know, Johnny, there's not been a lot of traffic uh, in many areas in this left rough, but there has been over this ball block. So there's a chance he may get a pretty good lie in here. He's got a better angle now than he did before. Yeah, the, the issue is going to be that knob on the front left corner of the green. He's got to land it, what, short of the green and one hop up and trickle, Bob? Yeah, and here's where you have to know how to drop your golf ball. He needs to hit an exact spot to find a good lie. Choose the grass that's laying down towards the hole. You see the shinier grass, that's where he's trying nice. to have it come to rest. It's in play and it's a good lie. As long as, it, as long as it lands in the circle, it's okay, right? Yeah, there's a decision. So long as it hit the ground within the circle, which and it doesn't roll more than two club lengths, it's okay. The ball is in play. Sure speeds up play when you have those drop areas. That's the purpose of them, Johnny. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's not that it's a problem right now, but man, you talk about an up and in. Yeah, I don't think he can land this one on the green now, Johnny. I don't the grass know. is growing with him. That's the good thing. He had the upper hand on Tiger, what, for almost an hour now, Mark? He did. You know, you think about that 18th hole, both days he could have won the U.S. Open there. Yeah. Just nice. couldn't get much spin coming out of there, so he's going to have to probably make a 20-footer. 